Well, the question of the morning, how do we blend the celebration of Christ the King with the celebration of the wonderful works that our Faith Works missions continue to do in so many communities? If people actually think about royalty, about kings in our days, it conjures up images probably of privilege. It may still conjure up images of power. Faith works conjures up images of a different kind of power, the power of service and love. And of course, the blending, the tie that binds is Christ, our eternal redeeming King who lived love and service and whose power working through all of us calls us and enables us to support these wonderful faith works ministries that bring the kind of hope and love Christ lived. Well, so our question is easily answered. Christ is the key. But we are also blessed that all of our Bible readings today just happen to go together to reinforce the connection between kingship, power, and service. They develop the story of Christ the King, his kingdom, and more important, our responsibility in it. King David's words in 2 Samuel point us towards the acknowledgement of the Lord as king and the requirement of being his representatives. 3,000 years ago, David was God's anointed earthly king. David had all the trappings of kingship, power, wealth, a palace, fame, Fame even to this day when David is held up as Israel's ideal leader. David knew and acknowledged that there is a higher king and kingdom. In David's words, there is never any doubt in his mind that God is king. David praises God, not himself. He acknowledges that his strength and help comes from the Lord. David trusted, never doubting that God would make good on that promise of an everlasting covenant with David and his descendants, even though David would not live to see that happen. It would be centuries later that Christ, the king of the house of David, would be born and usher in a new kind of kingdom, not Pontius Pilate's idea of domination and power, but Christ's kingdom based on the power and privilege of love and service. And David saves his most poetic words for the behavior God required of him. A king was to shepherd his people and to be one who rules over people justly, ruling in the fear of God. Just one word, justly, is the key. Just describes a godly kingship and kingdom, one that is fair, impartial in actions and judgments, a kingdom of high moral standards. And that is summarized so often, especially in the Old Testament, in a pair of words that not only describe God, but the way God expects us as his people to act like. Just and righteous. David's poetic words sum up what this just rule is like. The light of morning like the sun rising on a cloudless morning. So what does this concept of just leadership say to us as God's church, as St. Timothy's? We are to be noticeably just, called to act 
in such ways that our words and actions bring that light of mourning to others. We are to love God and love our neighbor. The Faith Works Ministries, highlighted in the video, are a part of how we as an Anglican Church and as St. Timothy's go about being just and reaching out to show God's love in this world, in his world. Every time we make a gift to Faith Works, we help those community ministries to bring Christ's hope, love, and healing. And then that reading in Revelation, it sums up Christ's kingship and our place in his kingdom. Christ is the one who is and was and is to come. He is the ruler of the kings of the earth. He is God and eternal and he has the power. But Revelation adds another dimension to being part of Christ's kingdom then and now. He made us to be part of the kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. He made us, that plural us, more than those who have the title of priest, all of us. We are all set apart and called to bring light through our just actions, just as Christ showed us in his earthly ministry. What better way on Christ the King Sunday and Faith Works Sunday than for us to continue to be the light that David spoke about, to continue to celebrate and support Faith Works. Amen.